Today's lesson is on the topspin forehand. Many of my students over the years, I've noticed they, they're so concerned with topspin that they're making all kinds of movements trying to get that brushing on the ball. They're trying to roll over the ball. And these kind of things um, can be very detrimental to hitting topspin well, okay? So the thing you have to remember is that topspin is created when your racket's moving from low to high, you're making contact with the ball with a completely vertical racket moving from low to high. Now that's going to impart forward spin to the ball. That's all top spin is, forward spin. Now you're hitting the equator of the ball. That imaginary line around the center of the ball between pen and four, that's where you're making contact with the ball, moving from low to high. But players get so concerned with top spin that when they get to the contact point, the racket goes up, straight up. And the ball just lands in the bottom of the net, or if you happen to clear the net, it's very short. So, you know, you also have to drive through the shot, okay? You're driving through the shot as well. That's going to give you some depth on your shot. Now, there's a time where you want to come up sharper, let's say on a short angle passing shot or a topspin lob. If you're hitting a short angle passing shot, you are going to come up very sharp, okay? But you're still driving through, but it's a much sharper low to high swing. Now, let's say you want to hit the ball deep into the corner you're going to, you know, swing low to high, of course, you want some topspin, but you're also driving through the shot more. When you drive through the shot, you're gonna get more depth on your shot. So there's a fine line there between how much spin do we want and how much depth do we want. So, that's what you have to figure out and practice. So as an example, let's say you want your opponent hits a ball to this corner and comes to the net, okay? So now they're pressuring you, they're up at the net, and you want to get the ball by them. So you see that little sharp angle there, so you want to hit a little sharp angle cross court. To do that, you need more spin. Okay, you've really got to come up on that ball to create more spin to pull the ball back in the court before it goes wide. So that's when you're really going to, you know, you're coming up very sharp on the shot. And on the other hand, if you wanted to drive the ball deep up the line, you're going to drive through the shot more. Okay, so let me just show you the difference. Now, here's my contact point. If I was going for that little short angle, okay, I'm dropping down below the ball, at least a good foot. As I come up, the racket's vertical. Now from here, you're going to really brush up a lot to get that to create a lot of spin to pull the ball in when you hit that short angle. So you've, your racket's going to really come up on that shot. Now, on the deep shot, the one I hit down the line, you're, you're coming down below the ball, foot below, you're coming up. Now from here, you're not coming up so sharp. You're still moving low to high, so you're going to get topspin. That's one thing that players have to realize. You'll get topspin every time as long as the racket's moving from low to high. So as you get here, when you're driving it deep, you're driving through the shot, okay? You're not coming up as sharp. 
This is where I find that many players have a tough time with finding that equal balance. Let's say you're in a baseline rally and you're just trying to keep the ball nice and deep looking for an opening. To keep the ball deep, you need equal, you, and to keep it in, all right, you need the topspin, but you also need the drive to keep the ball deep. So you've got to find that equal balance. Once you get that, then you can keep the ball deep in baseline rallies, wait for the short ball, then attack. But um, this is one of the things I find that beginners, intermediates, they struggle with this. They're, they're, they're very concerned about the spin, but you need both. You need spin and you need plow through or drive through the ball as the racket is moving on that low to high plane. Okay, let's take a look in slow motion. My opponent is coming to the net. I want to hit a little sharp angle passing shot. Okay, first thing, I've got to drop the racket right there. You can see how low the racket is below the ball. Now I'm going to come up and I'm brushing up. Look at how high the racket is here. So that was a sharp angle coming up. Now because I'm doing that windshield wiper motion, watch where the finish is. Look at that finish. It's kind of a low finish because of that windshield wiper motion and the force that I'm using to create that spin. Okay, here we're going to look at a drive in slow motion, I'm trying to keep the ball deep here. Okay, I've got to drop the racket below the ball, right there. The racket is about a foot below the contact point. Now as I swing up, I'm driving through. Look at how my hitting arm is extending and the racket is still going out towards my target. Then on the finish, I simply you know, it's a higher finish, and I grab the racket with my left hand. Okay, let's take a look in slow motion on the short angle passing shot. Okay, the racket's going to drop down well below the contact point right there. Okay, now I'm going to brush up with a sharp angle. Look at the racket there. You can see the racket is high. I didn't drive out through the ball and the finish is lower because of that windshield wiper motion. Okay, let's take a look in slow motion. Now I'm driving the ball deep. Now notice the subtle differences here. The racket's going to drop down below the contact point, but not as low as when I'm going for that short angle because I'm driving through the shot. Now the swing is low to high because I want topspin, but I'm not using excessive windshield wiper motion. As you can see, the finish is higher because I'm not using that excessive windshield wiper motion, which would bring about a lower finish. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Remember, there are many different types of topspin that you're going to be hitting. Um, when you need that little short angle passing shot, more spin. A topspin lob, more spin. When you're trying to drive the ball deep, you're driving through, you're compressing the ball more, driving through it, plowing through the ball. Yes, you still have some measure of topspin, but not as much. The more topspin you have, the quicker the ball comes down. That's why you definitely need it on that short passing shot. Now on a topspin lob, you're going to be aiming 
you know, 20, 30 feet over the net. So if you aim high enough with a lot of spin, that's going to pull it down. So please give me a like, a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel if it's your first time here. Um, I'm here to help you with your game. Post any questions or comments and I'll do my best to get back to you in a timely manner. All the best guys to your tennis success. Take care.